hi baby girls how's everyone doing welcome back i hope all of you are doing super super well so here we're gonna start off with a small little package that melody Susie sent out to me and this is a kalinsky brush size number 10 thank you so much melody Susie, for always supporting my channel and always sending me nice pretty cute things to review here on my channel if you guys are interested on this brush i will have a link and a coupon code in the description box below so as you guys can see here i'm gonna bring everything out of the package well the little brush <laughs> and here in the back you do have some little tips you can pause to read if you want and it's just a couple of tips for you to take care of your Kalinsky brush, which is very important. I think a good brush is key to a good application and just in general, nice nails, okay? So I'm here just removing any glue that might be stuck onto the bristles of the, of the actual brush and just doing that little motion with my fingers just removing everything just making sure there's no glue and next i'm just going to be taking a little bit of monomer and just literally sinking my brush in there making sure that it is soaking wet with monomer and i'm just going to be cleaning and i'll be doing this pretty much a couple of times i'm not even gonna lie you guys i did it maybe like 10 times and just um removing any stuck any glue that was stuck on the on the brush with my fingers and um just making sure that it's super clean before any application so here are my nails you guys as you guys can see i did go ahead and did them stiletto i am using my 3xl tapered square tips that are flat they do not have any type of c-curve you will find them on my online store link will be in the description box below here i'm just kind of prepping for the acrylic application i'm adding a couple of drops of the neutralizing drops for the monomer and that is from not polish i'm also going to be using the mood from not polish I'm also going to be using their crystal clear acrylic and like I said as well as their monomer. I do have a coupon code with them and the link to that will be in the description box below as well as my coupon code which is just Gabby. So as you guys can see here I'm not going to speed up the first nail just because I really want you guys to see the actual application of the acrylic and how the brush actually works. You guys can see here that the brush is round, it is not crimped or anything like that. So I was a little skeptical about it. I am actually used to working with flat brushes. I am not a big fan on oval brushes or just round brushes. And I was like, oh my god, I really don't know how this is going to go. It's either going to go pretty good or... It's not going to be good at all. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give it a try. So as you guys can see here, the first bead picked up super well. I did my ratio pretty good. I was being very careful with my ratios. I was trying to pick up the just the perfect bead so that I didn't have any problems. And just give it a fair review. You know what I mean? So I did that, you guys. I picked up my first bead, applied it. It went super well. I went ahead and managed to bring it pretty much all the way down towards the nail. You guys can see that there's just a little like just a little piece missing at the tip of the nail, but that's like no biggie. And my I was actually pretty pretty nervous about my cuticle area, about the cuticle bead. So, I went ahead and picked it up. I went ahead and removed any excess of monomer with my napkin went ahead and placed it and it went super well you guys like i had no issues with it i had no issues with my acrylic application i had no trouble with the brush i can honestly tell you that this brush is really good you guys it is really good if you guys are not into crimped brushes you guys work better with oval brushes then i think this one would be perfect for you um it's really well i do recommend it you guys i highly 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 do recommend it so i went ahead and added another bead here kind of like in the center i would say just brought it down just patting it down 
being very gentle with it you know there's no need to make a lot of pressure with your brush because if you do then you will bring all that product off and there's not going to be none on your nail so i'm just being very careful like i said very gentle with the brush pretty much the brush is doing all the work and like i said earlier literally a brush can make or break your work just because sometimes you might think it's you as a beginner sometimes i would think it was me the one with the problem and sometimes it's just the products that you're using okay so if something is not working for you just make sure that you change the product try another brand or something maybe that'll work and you'll see that sometimes it's not us you guys sometimes it's just the product itself that we're using and yeah so if you think your brush kind of sucks <laughs> You might want to try this one. It is really good. Um, so yeah. My last bead. I went ahead and applied it here in the center. Just because I kind of saw that it was a little flat. And I wanted to give it more of like a structure to it. Which honestly I don't even know why I did that. Because I always go ahead and cap either way. But I went ahead and did that you guys. I don't know. I guess I was just playing around with the brush and... I don't know it's just so satisfying to uh, apply acrylic but um yeah this is how the application went and now this is where i start to speed up the process because honestly like it's just pretty much the same thing so yeah you guys if you see this satisfying go ahead and stay and yeah i'm gonna let you guys watch the acrylic application and i'll be back with you guys
Alrighty, baby girls. So now I'm going to go ahead and cap everything. Like I had mentioned at the beginning, I am using the crystal clear powder. Oh my god. The crystal clear powder from Not Polish. I'm also using their monomer. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cap everything just because I'm giving it the right structure. Giving it just the right strength to each of the nails. And that's pretty much just what I like to do, you guys. I never like to just leave um, any nude acrylic just like that. I always have to go cap. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cap everything and I'll be back. So this is what the nails look like right after I finished capping and yeah they are looking a little rough I know they're looking a little fatty bomb baddies <laughs> but it's okay it's okay we're gonna go in and file so I'm gonna go in with my 8080 nail grid file from Pana and pretty much what I do is just remove any acrylic stuck underneath that sometimes gets stuck on our our what's it called our skin <laughs> and i just kind of do that remove that remove any axis or excess of acrylic what is it called you guys axis axis i don't know but you guys get the picture so yeah um sometimes i do go ahead and kind of like start to shape but not really you guys can see here what i'm doing um i'm not speeding up the the like the first process of it just because i really want you guys to see how i shape my stiletto nails because honestly each shape of nails um it's different pretty much just how you handle the file it's just different you guys so you guys can see here what i kind of do that's why i'm not really speeding it up so you guys can really take a look at what i do you know Okay, so now I'm taking my favorite drill bit, which is my 5-in-1 not polish fine drill bit. Yeah, I know, it's pretty long, you guys, but it is from not polish and it is in fine grit. So it is really good. It's really, really good, you guys, to debulk the nails, to just seal those cuticles, just pretty much everything. Like, it is a super good. If you guys don't know, I do have a coupon code with them, so it'll be linked in the description box below as well as their link. So what I do with this drill bit is pretty much start off from the cuticle area, just a, like along my sidewalls of my natural nail and then i go around the cuticle area just sealing that part just to make sure that there's no acrylic on the skin or anything like that just so that like i said the acrylic is nicely sealed around that area then bringing my drill bit down towards the tip of the nail uh slowly but surely just debulking the nail so yeah, this debulks the nail from any lumps and bumps. Um, you don't necessarily have to use it at very high speeds, you guys. I have it at about 13 to 15 RPMs and it works perfect. 
so this is pretty much what I do if I were to be working on a natural nail with a sanding band the rpms would be at about three to five rpms but since I am working on top of acrylic with a fine um, drill bit then I do have it at about 13 to 15 rpms I noticed that if I went ahead and um, brought up the rpms let's say to about 18 to 20 rpms um, it really burns you guys it burns so yeah so the rest of the nails are gonna be a little bit sped up you guys because of course I only wanted you guys to kind of see what I do on my first nail um, pretty much the rest of the nails are exactly the same so that's why I went ahead and sped it up but um, if you guys want to watch the thumb over and over you guys may since it is in real time uh, but yeah like I said this is gonna be a little bit more sped up and yeah it's gonna be the same thing so I'll just let you guys watch that and you guys know the drill I'll be back <laughs> So now I like to take my 150-150 nail grip file and um, it just depends you guys. Like I said in previous videos, sometimes I take my 150-150 or my 80-80 just to further crisp up the shape. But I like the 150-150 nail grip file to just smooth out the surface of the nail. Sometimes the drill just leaves like harsh lines on there and just... I don't know you guys I, it just makes the surface uh, look a lot more smoother so I really do not like to skip this step I've noticed that it just makes a whole lot of difference in my just in my filing and all that so I really don't like to leave it out I tried it and no you guys I just have to do it I have to this is a very important step that I take um, so yeah i don't like to skip it anyway so yeah i like to do that just kind of um buff out the surface of the nail kind of remove all those harsh lines that the drill left behind and then um i do that all over the nails and then sometimes like i said i like to crisp up the shape 
either with this one or the 8080 nail grid file it all depends you guys just on the mood that i have that day so sometimes i do it with this one and sometimes i do it with the 8080 So while I'm at it, uh, you guys can see down here that there's these little curvy lines, like little waves down there. And I like to take my file just to remove that little wavy line or whatever that is because it's not looking snatched, you guys. It's not looking straight. And I like my shaping to be perfect as it is um, on the surface and the sides as well as the bottom. So yeah. I'm taking that underneath the nails, just making sure everything is very nicely um, straight and very nicely crisp. So, yeah. And now to finish everything up, I'm going to go ahead and take my buffer. And these are just the orange buffers. I like these big ones, you guys. I cannot work with the tiny ones. I know that a lot of nail techs work with those small ones and they worked perfectly with them. I cannot. Like, I just can't. I guess my hands are too big or I don't know. But I just can't. So I like to grab my big buffing blocks and just buff everything out and that there's no like harsh edges or just nothing like that just making sure everything is going to be nicely smooth and i take this on every single little nail and then after that i'm going to go ahead and wipe everything remove any dust and then i spray a little bit of alcohol and clean with a lint free wipe So this is what the nails look like right after filing and buffing and cleansing. And this is literally my favorite part of every single nail design. Not even the design, you guys, but it's just literally every single uh, acrylic nail set. Just watching them cleansed right after being filed and buffed. That is my favorite part. I think it's so satisfying to watch. But yeah, I guess we're going to head on to the actual design now. <laughs> so um, this is a design that I saw online a while back. I'm not really even sure who it is, you guys. Um, but we're going to be using pigments in today's video. So let me just tell you really quick that I kind of messed it up because I'm not really one to use pigments all the time. Like that's not my favorite um like nail art to use if that makes sense like i i don't like to use it they're so very they're very messy you guys just in general they're very messy to work with and i don't like it um they literally got everywhere they got on my chair i have a pink chair and if you guys saw it on instagram i had posted it up there a while ago and it's like how can i say this it's like um it's like velvety i don't i don't know how to explain it but um it got all over my chair it got on my desk it got on my towels it got everywhere you guys so they were very messy but anyway let me just tell you a little bit i went ahead and um went ahead and added a little bit of the white gel polish and i noticed that after i cured it in the lamp like 
the pigments weren't grabbing onto it, you know? And I was like, what the heck is going on? Let me just tell you. I went ahead and added another coat on top. Cured it under the lamp for maybe about 20 seconds. And honestly, you guys, the pigments were a little bit more pigmented and they were holding on a little bit more. Just literally grabbing on a little more to the gel polish. But they weren't pigmented enough like they weren't just grabbing enough you know what i mean they were still sliding everywhere and just going everywhere and um i was like what's going on like what's going on i'm doing something wrong here so after i even i don't i don't know why i didn't just remove it with a little bit of alcohol because that's pretty much what you do to remove the the pigments they're very easy just to remove with any any cleanser you know but what I did, I went ahead and added my gel polish on my thumb just to kind of try it. I went ahead and added it on my thumb and literally cured it for about four seconds, you guys. Like three to four seconds. I didn't even leave it there as long. Um, I went ahead and removed it from under the lamp. And then I went ahead and um, applied the, the pigments on top. And it, like, it was holding on to it so well. The pigments were showing up super well. Everything looked very nicely coordinated. Like the colors looked very nice. It looked awesome, you guys. And here, I just made a mess. Like, I just made a mess. And I don't even know why I didn't go ahead and remove it. I, I don't know, you guys. I really don't know. Like, no se me prendió el foco. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I just... I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened to me, but I should have removed it and started all over again. But I didn't, you guys, and I just made a whole mess. But anyway, now um, I'm going to go ahead and add the cheetah print on top of the pigments. And here I'm just using my black gel liner that comes in the in the 12 piece set that I got off of Amazon a while ago. And I'm just using the black because... These are just very easy to use, you guys. You just, they already have a liner, so they're just super easy to use. And um, I'm going to be doing the cheetah print. Cheetah print is, like, very, very, very easy to do. Um, you just do, like, a C, like, two little Cs. I don't know, you guys, but you guys can see here what I'm doing. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing to the design. And then I go ahead and cure that under the lamp for maybe about 20 seconds. And after it comes out of the lamp, I'm going to go ahead and add my matte top coat because I really wanted these now to be matte. And um, I am using my matte top coat from my online store. And it is available as of right now, you guys. So you guys can go and check that out. I will have the link to my online store on the description box below. And speaking of my online store, thank you so much for all the feedback that I received on my last video, you guys. You guys were so supportive. Honestly, I had zero hate comments on that. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys know what I'm talking about. And I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I've already submitted everything that I had to submit. And fingers crossed, everything will go my way um i'm just praying that everything goes right because honestly it's true you guys like what she's doing it's not all right she's literally stealing and i'm sure this is not her first time i honestly it's not her first time i i i kind of have a feeling like she's done it to other businesses small businesses and she already knows what's up you know what i mean so Thankfully, I did have evidence and I did submit su what submit that uh, to my online store because the, the email that I received was from Shopify from my online store. So um, I went ahead and submitted that and fingers crossed everything goes right. So I will have you guys posted on that and we'll see. So yeah, right now all I'm going to be doing is applying a whole bunch of crystals, you guys. I'm going to be applying crystals here on my ring finger and on my middle nail. Um, I went ahead and applied them like around the cuticle area. And then on the middle nail, they're going to go like on the tip of the nail. And then I was not going to add anything else to it. But at the end, I was like, you know what? I think it needs a little bit more sparkle on the rest of the nails. So I went ahead and added one of, uh, around the cuticle area of each of the nails.
And of course, to finish everything up, I'm gonna go ahead and add my cuticle oil. I know that this looks like it's not important, but it is, you guys. Cuticle oil is very, very, very important just to nourish your cuticles and just bring your cuticles back to life. And I'm using the one from my online store. You guys can see here the thumb. Did you guys see the thumb? Oh my God, that looks so pigmented, so pretty, so everything. And the rest are just like, eh. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, so yeah, I will catch you on the next one. Stay safe, God bless, and bye-bye.